here at the Barnstall Art Complex in Hollywood. This is one of Frank Lloyd Wright's houses. Hi, Gobro, how are you? I put in the title that it's a tease because uh, the sun just set and I am here because I have a friend of mine who comes to the Barnstall uh, Art Complex. They teach all kinds of art classes and so on. And this is a very notable Frank Lloyd Wright design, guys. Hi, everybody. How are you? Hi, Miko. Hi, Rick. Hi, Tina. How's everybody doing? How's GoPro in Hawaii? Let me turn you around, guys. Hi, Kate. Hi, Keso. How are you? That was such an amazing, amazing sumo scope. I loved it. So I am here on a hill. It's one of the Hollywood Hill. It's kind of, it's, it's in Hollywood, but it's like a hill where you can see a lot of the Hollywood Hills and Los Angeles and Hollywood. Uh, hi, Caldor. How are you? How's everybody doing? I'm giving you a quick scope. I came here. Uh, I wanted to find out if there was a way that I could see the house of the Frank Lloyd Wright. Just a little bit of it, a hint of it. And show it to you guys with the promise that I was going to come back here again. So there you go, guys. That is one of the famous architectural deta details from Frank Lloyd Wright. I'm standing still because I'm going to take a capture and put it on Twitter and Instagram. So I hope everybody's doing well. And we can see the exterior of the house at this point. Let me see if I can show you a couple bits of it just to kind of give you an idea. And I've been here many times for various different events. And uh, you can actually have a tour on the inside. And that's what I'm trying to figure out if I could actually do a tour during the day to show you guys. But that's a Frank Lloyd Wright house, very famous. A lot of shoots have taken place here. Hello, Demi Rosales, how are you? Hi, hi guys, hi everybody. Thank you for the hearts and thank you for the love and thank you for sharing. Thank you for being here. I'm just giving you kind of a tease of the exterior of a Frank Lloyd Wright house. You studied architecture in school, Tina. How terrific. So have you been here? It's very, very cool. And as you know, Frank Lloyd Wright, and for those of you who do not know, he designed everything. Whenever he had a project, he would design the house, the fabric, the furniture, the fixtures, Everything you can't see it here too well, but on this side you can see that architectural detail. And when he had parties, he would even design his wife's dresses. His wife's dresses, can you imagine that? That is the sign. That is commitment. <laughs> or being a control freak. I don't know, one of the two. <laughs> this, is actually, this is actually the official entrance to the house. All of his architecture pieces, especially the homes, they had a very low entrance. And then when you would go into the house, it would open up in space. He also happened to be a very short guy. Very, very short guy. But that's the official entrance. Hi, Cliff. How are you? I'm giving you a kind of a hint of a Frank Lloyd Wright house in Hollywood just because I came I came around this area and I figured let me show the guys let me see if you can see this no you really can't but I wrote down no I have not gotten a new version of Periscope I wrote down that it was a tease because it's at night so you can't see it but this is either a fountain or a pool. I don't know. One of the two. And uh, let me show you guys because this is, is a, it may have been a pool. Everything at that time when this house was built was on a much, much, much smaller scale. 
I have not updated. No, everything's dark because it, it is actually dark. <laughs> but let me show you guys. I'm walking. I apologize for the shaky camera. This is the, this is the parking for the. Uh, it is very dark. Well, let me see if I can zoom in. It is very dark because what you see there at the end. Guys, let me see if I can stand still and focus. That is the Griffith Observatory, guys. It is lit at night and it underwent a major reconstruction. Oh, if I stand still enough, it kind of focuses. No, my picture is actually dark because it is dark already. <laughs> I, um, but I, I keep hearing that the new update is really dark. I would have issues with that because my camera as it stands is very dark. It doesn't do that great of a job in low light, but it is really fabulous when there's light, so I can't complain. But let me walk to the edge, guys. Let me walk to the edge and see if I can actually keep the camera. There's a spot where I can keep the camera really still. Like super, super still. Oh yeah, there you go. Let's see. That is the Griffith Observatory. better well it doesn't still doesn't really fuck with all that well oh here we go hold on it kind of goes in and out the views are amazing so you have been here it can't really focus all that well but that's the Griffith Observatory it goes in and out. But let me show you a little bit more of the exterior. This is a big complex, a really big complex. But there you see, guys. So Frank Lloyd Wright went, hey, hi, Hellblazer. And trying to keep up with uh, people coming in. And the messages, thank you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the love and the time. Thank you for the hearts. So Frank Lloyd Wright, your son lives in Hollywood. Yeah, we should connect. Absolutely. Frank Lloyd Wright, thank you guys. Thank you for being here. Uh, he went to Mexico and he also went to Japan. So this detail you see here, which would typically would just be a phrase, is very Mexican influenced. That you just see here, all there, all around the house. This is actually like a separate structure. I don't know if it, this was actually there's people coming up here because this is now an arts center. Yes, absolutely, Tina. I'm looking forward to it. We have to meet up. We have to scope together. And uh, there's like a park. I've been here on a couple of occasions for some film events. As a matter of fact, I met uh, Andy Garcia here. It was awesome. They were presenting a movie that he produced. And that was really fun. There's a walkway between the main house and like this separate structure. I don't know if that was meant to be like a guest house or what. Love Andy Garcia. I know he's amazing, isn't he? There's a little bit of that secondary structure. There you go, guys. Isn't it amazing? And this was here on the original house. Let me show you a little bit closer. Here you go. It is amazing. Isn't it cool? It's really, really awesome. Thank you guys for being here. This is just a few minute tease because I want to come here at a different time. And then from there you see the Griffith Observatory at the end. Hi Mark, how are you? Hi Hellblazer. I'm not sure I got all that, Hellblazer. 
But thank you for being here. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the time. Thank you for your hearts. And this is typical Frank Lloyd Wright as well. Those long lines and repeated patterns. Isn't it cool? Very, very, very cool. Very, very cool. And if we walk this way, we see it from the other side. And then you see the house at the end. Very cool. Very, very cool. And so we just kind of walked around from there around and we just came back up. That was the pool. That's the pool or fountain. Isn't it awesome? It is very, very cool. Let me get up close to this architectural detail here that is next to the fountain. I don't know if you'll see it. It's kind of dark. But I wanted to show you anyway. Is like a little obelisk. It's like an obelisk. Let's see if we can see it from the other side. No, it's kind of dark, but it's still kind of cool. It is a humongous house, and as a matter of fact, there's the house. I actually came to Los Angeles. The first time that I saw it was when I came to Los Angeles for a business trip. And I said, oh, you know, I'm going to try to make a point of seeing as many Frank Lloyd Wright homes on my trips to L.A. before I moved here. And I came to see it. And following the pattern, the, multi the multiplicity, which he was so fond of, there's like a little garden in the middle, but it's actually full of trees. Hi, Big Pass, how are you? Good to see you again. Good to see you guys, good to see you, good to see you. And now this is a theater, which I've seen movies at. And this is an art complex right here. There's actually several studios. There's people learning how to do pottery and sculptures right now. And over there, during the day, I'm going to come and you can see downtown. You can see the downtown skyline. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Big Pass. I haven't seen you in a little while. This is a map for the facilities. It is the Barnstall Park. And the house is here. The, ho the house is actually named a Hollyhock House. The lady who commissioned the house loved Hollyhock. Um, let me see if I can stand outside of the shade. She loved uh, Hollyhock flowers. So that repeated pattern that you see throughout the house is supposed to resemble a hollyhock plant. And so this is the map. Um, the house itself is here. This is the whole house. And the views from here are amazing, guys. The views are unbelievable. Downtown is over there. Back here is Hollywood. All this surrounding is Hollywood. Number six is the the Municipal Art Gallery. Number eight is Junior Art Center. The Junior Art Center is right here. There's people learning art as we speak right here. Where am I, gay mate? In Los Angeles, California. <laughs> At the moment, I'm actually showing you a Frank Lloyd Wright home from the exterior, just giving you a tease because it's at night. And uh, I want to come and show it to you guys during the day. There you go. And this is the park. No, we cannot go inside the park, uh, the building right now. It's too dark and too late. But I just came by and I wanted to show it to you guys from the outside. Uh, that's why I put in that it was a Frank Lloyd Wright architecture tease. Because I'm just showing you the outside because it's the only thing I can show you right now. But I don't know if you're here, Kanji, but that's the Griffith Observatory right there, up there. And it's amazing, one day I will go and scope from there. I'm sure that there's been a few people that have scoped from there, but it's a truly magnificent, magnificent location. Oh, I am here in Hollywood. I'm here in uh, the Bar Barnstall Art Center in Hollywood. You know where the... Uh, um, Actually, I don't know the name of the metro station. 
But uh, this is the end of, uh, I don't know, is that Sunset Boulevard? I forget. Yeah, that ends here. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing up here. This view has some of the most spectacular views of the whole entire LA. And because the grounds were so humongous now, you know, it's got parking lots and all kinds of venues and a library in art studios. Hi, Arif, how are you, sweetie? How are you, Rich? How's it going? Good to see you, good to see you live. Good to see you here. Do you, um, do you fancy architecture, Rich? I am here right outside of an architectural gem of Los Angeles. This is the Barnstall uh, home. It's also known as the Hollyhock House. Frank Lloyd Wright's Hollyhock House and it's phenomenal and I just came here during the night giving you a promise that I will come here during the day because I've been here a couple of times and now that I can do a periscopes from all kinds of places in Los Angeles I wanted to show it to you so you can watch the replay and see some of the details some of the architectural details it's kind of dark guys and I'm just gonna like step out of the area because I'm actually headed somewhere else but I wanted to show you this guys and uh, there was another structure within the property I'm going to show you some other architectural details even though we can't walk inside right now but hang in there with me for a couple seconds because I'm, I'm going to show you they are remodeling this structure And they actually have like, thank you guys, thank you for the hearts, thank you for the love. You guys are so amazing. I appreciate very much that you guys spend a little bit of your time with me. I know that uh, you guys spend, you know, data as well. So I very much appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, they're remodeling this. Let me show you. I'm going to show you the diagram just because we're here. Ah. Look at this, I didn't even know this detail. Frank Lloyd Wright, Residence A in 1920. Oh, it is one of the two guest houses. This is one of the two guest houses Frank Lloyd Wright designed for Aileen Varnstall in addition to the Hollyhock House. Residence A is 2.5 stories high and approximately 2,700 square feet. The building materials are stucco over hollow clay tile, concrete and wood. And wood. The other guest house, Residence B, located above Edgemont Street, was raised in 1954. Check that out. More information that I didn't know. <laughs> and this is what it's going to look like, I guess. Oh, this is what it looked like originally, which you can see above. 1954. How awesome. I am so glad I'm sharing this with you guys. And I love that there's Frank Lloyd Wright and Frank Lloyd Wright and architecture enthusiasts here. And look guys, even the lampposts follow the same the same theme. Look at that. The tiling, the repeated patterns. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And this is supposed to look like a hollyhock. Hollyhock plant. So that's pretty much the pattern that is repeated all throughout the house on the tiles, the cement tiles. Isn't this cool, guys? It is a plant, yes. And it's really beautiful. I've seen it uh, with pink flowers. It is absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. And it's really interesting because the first time I actually came to see the house, I'm not sure if there was many hollyhock plants on the gardens and the house but I guess that's what it's gonna look like and again this this entire property is owned by the city now like uh, several Frank Lloyd Wright homes after the fam the estates actually donated the homes to the cities where they were in and this is another architectural detail guys look at that this is original this is from the period isn't it cool? I don't know what this was part of. But there you go, architectural details.
lots of patterns. Because that was the Franklin right way. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me show you this one more time. Yeah, look at that detail, right? That was actually not part... This that I'm showing you now is not part of the original structure. This is what was built after it was given to the city. But, uh, yeah. So how are you doing, Rich? How's it going? Where do I leave you? Let me see, where do I leave you? I think the most appropriate place to leave you is here, at this very architectural detail. Because it's very Franklin right? And I'm giving you a tease. <laughs> I do too, RF. I still have it. <laughs> oh man, I hate it. You can see, you can hear me. I'm a little bit nasally. But I'm trying to ballot. I have my green drink. Oh, poor you. I know. I was beaten by it for a few days. And I'm trying to pretend like I don't have it, but I have it. Let me, get, let me see how close I can get, guys. Let me see. This is as big as it is. See my hand. Let's see if, let's see if I can get a nice view of it. Tamiflu. Oh, my God. Tamiflu is amazing. Absolutely, Caldwell. Good to see you. Good to see you here. Good to see you all. Thank you so much for the love and the time and the hearts. Thank you for sharing with your friends. Thank you for those of you who are here. I adore you all. I don't know if I'm going to do another. Yes, take a nap. Absolutely, Araf. Drink a lot of ginger. Uh, let me leave you here, guys. With that, I wrap it. It was great to see you. I hope you feel better. Rich, take care of yourself. Let me see if I can switch and show me, show myself. Give you hello, 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 hello. Oh, I'm covered. One second. Hi, guys. Besitos y abrazos a todos. I will see you soon. I will come back to this location some other time and I will show you during the day. Absolutely rich. It's my absolute pleasure. It's great that you're here and are part of it. Love you so much, guys. And I'll leave you here with Frank Wright. Take care, Rich. Take care, Keizo. Oh, are you going to be doing any more sumo uh, scopes, Keizo-san? Oh, absolutely, Demi Rosales. Watch the replay. Uh... And if you go to my catch, I've gone to the Frank Lloyd Wright Beverly Hills structure on Rodeo Drive. You are going to do more when? Tonight? Or t I guess it would be, yeah, late tonight. It would be a, my tonight for me, midday for you. So thank you, everybody. Great to see you all. I adore you. Absolutely. I will come back during the daytime. Absolutely. I love Frank Lloyd Wright and anything architecture. Um, so I will be talking to you soon. Hi, Yum, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> I was just scoping out. <laughs> but I just came here to the Frank Lloyd Wright house to give you a tease, an architectural tease. What you're seeing here is an architectural detail in one of the two guest houses. Uh, you may want to watch the replay. Oh my god, I feel so sorry now. <laughs> um, but Queso is here, Rich is here. Um, <clears throat> I promise to come back here during the day, guys, and show you the house. I don't think, the same with a lot of the Frank Lloyd Wright, Wright homes, you cannot scope on the inside, you cannot film, even though David has done it. it isn't, you're not supposed to, so I'm going to see what I can figure out. I know you can, can you, I think if you take pictures, you have to pay more. Yeah, that's how it works. But I'm going to call their organization and let them know that I'm coming and see if they let me. So thank you, everybody. Let me switch. Let me rotate. Say goodbye to you, all of you guys. Bye. Besitos y abrazos. I will talk to you soon. I apologize, Rebecca. I need to go. <laughs> but I will talk to you soon. So it's great to see you guys. And uh, watch the replay if you like. But I'm making the promise to come back here and show you more of the Frank Lloyd Wright house. 
So bye everybody. Besitos y abrazos. Have a good time. Bye bye. Bye Keso, bye RF, bye Oomph, bye Caldwell, and bye everybody else who joined. Bye bye.